Hey everyone and welcome to this unboxing and review. Today we're going to look at the quarter scale arcade machine Galaxian by Bandai Namco. This is actually produced and designed by Numskull, uh, a firm based out of the UK. They do their, this is part of their quarter uh, arcade series. I do have the Pac-Man and the Galaga which I did unboxing and reviews of those. I can put links in the bottom of this description so if you want to see those. And also this is actually, it's, it's designed by Numskull, and I believe Rubber, somebody, man, we'll see in the back of the thing is actually um, produces it, manufactures it. There's another um, company that does it for them. But so far, the two that I've got added to my RK Mini, RK Retro Collection have been very high quality, definitely worth getting. And uh, let's just take a look at this, um, this reproduction of the Galaxian Arcade in quarter scale. You can see the box is really nice. I mean, it's just pretty simple. They've changed the design of the box since the first Pac-Man. The first Pac-Man one actually came with a coin. These don't. They now got them in window boxes. In the window box here, as you can see here, it looks pretty nice. You can kind of see the actual arcade machine. And you can see all the artwork kind of what's reflected in the actual machine. Very nicely well done on the box-wise. So... These are actually, you can see, these are actually, you can see the graphics in the, on the, in the very in the front. If you look at this, the handle, which is a nice addition to it, and also the bottom. But these do have, these are lithium um, batteries, so they are rechargeable. Then I think the playtime, I think, is the max, I think, is four hours. That's what's been stated. You can, um, so once you charge it, you can play it up to four hours, depending. If you have the marquee lit, that might actually reduce your time in the battery play, the battery life for during play, if you have the marquee lit. So like I said, these have LED backlits, and you'll see just like the actual RK machine. And also, these are not MAME or emulator. These are actually the Ar original arcade ROMs. So if you're playing, if you've played the full-size Galaxian machine, what you're seeing playing there you're experiencing and remembered these have been same rom has been used on these quarter scale arcades so you're going to get the sounds the graphics the play everything pretty much what you're going to get you saw in the full size now let's look at this instruction manual it's in multiple languages as you can see it's in full color it's got a nice gloss finish to it what's really nice about this um, full color glossy little instruction manual Kind of reminds me of the old uh, manuals that used to be included with uh, video games back in the day. You know, if you're a retro gamer like me, you remember the manuals they included with video games, and they don't do that as much as anymore at all. So it's a nice touch that Numskull did um, include these um, full color, little nice glossy manuals. I don't know if that was in intentional, but if they did, kudos to Numskull for doing that. Kind of goes back to that little retro having a game manual, full color, just like that, and nice little gloss finish to it. You can see this is the USB charging cable for it. So that's the only other accessories included with it. And let's now remove the protective styrofoam on the top. And let's just remove this little beast out from its box. And one thing about these units, they're not too heavy. they got a little weight to them, but they're not too bad overall. I mean, they're actually, the materials are made of wood. The, the paneling on the back and the sides is made of wood. You can see the vents there. they got little metal meshes in there. And you can see the little brown there kind of indicating that it's, they are made of wood. And the graphics on there are really top-notch. They just pretty much replicate the, the full-size arcade machine. So it's just it's like taking a little arcade machine and, then mini and miniaturizing it to one-quarter scale. And overall, like I said, they're very, very, really nice-looking um, machines. The quality overall, you can see the T-mode in there, the little um, the nice neon green. And, and to the side graphics here are pretty much replicated to the actual full-size machines. Really good quality. And these, I'm um, talking about quality, uh, these have been perfect right from the manufacturer. I mean, I've very, been very impressed. I haven't had any scratches, scuffs, dents, or anything on these units over, at all. And um, like I said, I've got... Pac-Man and Galaga and now Galaxian and they've been, been even you can see the, the very bottom they got the little rubber feet so if you're playing on a surface you know you're not gonna this machine's not gonna move too easily on a plain surface so it's nice they've got the nice little grip on the bottom of those things and remove that protective screen there as you saw 
You can see all the nice graphics on the side of that screen, which is a 5-inch screen, 4-3 um, aspect ratio. And there's another closer look at the, the Galaxian graphic there. Nice, vibrant color. And it's engineered by Numskull Designs, manufactured by Rubber Road. I think I might have mentioned Rubber Band at the beginning or something. I don't know, but that's who designed it or actually manufactured it. And you can see the coin slot door, the graphics. Unfortunately, those coin slot, little 25 cent coin slots do not light up. And there's the control panel. You got their volume wheel on the left, USB input on in the middle, and then the power button. Getting a close look at the control panel, and you can see all the artwork around there, the instructions, and even the little control knob, and then even the stem is made of metal, and even the, um, down to the marquee, even the, the logo on there, the graphics, beautifully done. And then you can see the, the lithium ion battery in there. That needs to be charged, so it's in green. Now it's um, a blinking green light, shows you that it's taking a charge. And steady green light shows you the battery inside is charged and ready to play. So let's get to turning this unit on and see what it can do. Yeah, and you can see there is the, the graphic test screen there, just like the full-size arcade machine. Yeah, overall, I mean, it's 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 a really, really, really nice... Um, replication of the actual full side machine and you can see here what I'm going to do is that we're going to get to the options screen let's get to this uh, the dip settings screen there so what you're going to do is when you saw that test pattern you're going to hold player one and player two buttons simultaneously to get to this screen and if you want to change the default lives of three down to two or even down to one you can do it here in this screen and then just hit the bottom player two button to scroll down to the bonus life you want to adjust that even the coin slot so many credits and now let's let's get to a little showing a little demonstration of the game in action. So please do forgive me for my being rusty on this game as I haven't played it in a long time, so I more than likely will get killed here really fast and quick and furious. So yeah, overall I'm very impressed with this um, little arcade machine. I definitely would recommend it. Quality overall, definitely definitely um, a nice little quarter scale replication of a full size arcade machine. So definitely be sure to share this video for anyone who may be interested in a game like this. And do please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And I appreciate the people who do subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That kind of tells you when I upload new videos like this. I'll be doing a Miss Pac-Man soon. So until next one, take care. <laughs>